So we are so used in physics that unimportant uh, secondary phenomena can be forgotten. We just leave them out, and then we take the calculation for granted. But if you do that, you don't get for certain which universe you are in. You get a superposition of different universes. It doesn't mean that the real outcome, uh, that, that what's really happening is that the universe splits into a superposition of different universes. It means our calculation is inaccurate, and it could be done better. And that doesn't mean that our theory is wrong, but that we made simplifications. We made lots of simplifications. Instead of describing the real world, we split up the real world in what I call templates. All the particles you talk about are not real particles, they are just mathematical abstractions of a real particle. We use that because it's the best we can do, which is perfect, it's by far the best we can do. So uh, in practice, that is just fine, but you just have to be careful in interpreting your result. The result does not mean that the universe splits in many other universes, the result means Yes, this answer is the best answer you could get. Now look at the amplitude of these universes, these, these universes that you get out. The one with the biggest amplitude is most likely the rightest answer. But all the other answers could be correct or could be wrong if we add more details, which we are unable to do. Because today. those details today yeah. and perhaps also tomorrow uh, will <laughs> also <laughs> if we be, will be unable to do it exactly precisely correctly.